youth unemployment crisis is one of the greatest perils facing the global economy today. Young people around the world in industrialized, emerging and developing countries alike face acutely high levels of unemployment, low wages, poor working conditions and obstructed pathways to economic mobility. I meet up with David Kasimbazi, a public governance expert and coordinator of the dialogue at Victoria University, on my fact-finding mission to establish why he chose to use dialogue as a means to impact change in a matter so intricate as urban governance. Kasimbazi explains that the involvement of the people who are the largest stakeholders in society in decision-making was the missing piece to Uganda's development jigsaw. They, they appeared that there are so many good things governments are doing, but they are not known to the young people. And yet these are great opportunities for the young people. KCCA has a training program for skilling. It has a program for livelihood. But it, uh, many young people don't have access because of lack of that uh, information sharing or community. So we believe that uh, these dialogues can take this country to another level. He also gave reasons for the choice of the theme and the resolution to tackle unemployment among the youth, an issue that has become a menace among Uganda's urban young. We have a very big population of the young people and many of them are living in the rural areas and coming to Kampala with the mind of getting better opportunities. But what do they find in Kampala? The jobs are not there, and uh, this has remained a big challenge. We need, as a government, as young people, to look into acquiring skills that are for the job market and be able to create jobs for these young people. Kasimbazi also raised issues of poor bargaining acumen by local authorities with foreign investors, which ends up creating an employment gap. So this year alone, we were informed that 234 billion was going to be put into that fund. But the challenge is whether these young people are aware of this program and how much engagement the government has had with the young people. The young people need to be engaged, need to be involved more in some of these decisions of the, the programs that government is coming up with. And uh, I think if that is done, uh, I think the question of unemployment will be resolved. In light of all this, Kasimbazi and the team at the Department of Urban Governance believe that the success derived from the previous dialogues will trickle down to this one and create positive impact on the powers that be. They believe that dialogue will provide a platform for sharing experience on the ways individuals and institutions, public and private alike, plan and manage youth employment creation in cities as well as to promote an exchange of experiences and best practices of good urban governance in job creation. We believe that if, as the main discussers, they should be able to give the feel of how important agriculture is for this country because it appears the young people tend to shy away thinking that agriculture is cheap, there's no, there's no money in it. And yet, it is the backbone of our economy. Participants will discuss youth entrepreneurship development, strategy on enhancing the engagement of the youth, and the national experience of Uganda in creating youth employment. Promotion of engagement among citizens, universities, research institutes, NGOs, and community-based organizations for research and action learning on the experimental ICT-based good practices is also among the topical discussions for tomorrow. Daniel Lutaya, WBS-TV in Kampala.